It's all sisters all the time. Today on the show, you're not going to want to miss this. We're talking about red ink. We're talking about skipping church. And are you ready? We're talking about selfies. And I seriously just took a selfie. You don't want to miss this today. We'll see you soon. for myself yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. for that Walk selfie around. for the yeah. self that was so great welcome <laughs> welcome welcome to sister to sister i'm kathy and you have the panel of the best sisters ever corey <laughs> roxanne you. flo Thank and amy we're here to give you our opinions and we do want to hear yours too but the first opinion as we were kind of rocking out to our opening song i wonder what do we like in churches do we like rock band worship do we like hymns what do we like i like a mixture i like a mixture but i i, I think that what we have to watch is not being able to enter in because mm -hmm. if you show up, some people, if they know it's Youth Sunday and the youth is going to be leading worship, some people won't come mm -hmm. and vice versa. But the real thing of worship is not music. It's surrendering the thing mm -hmm. that's closest to your heart, as in the law of first mention with Abraham and Isaac. Mm -hmm. he, that, he said, I'm going yonder to worship. And he was, that's when he was sacrificing. But, so you don't matter, mind, if it's rock or hymns, as long as the, the Worship feeling. isn't a style. No. It's a heart that mm. loves God. But I think like you're either mm. born kind of with that, a certain style. We just happen to be like, come from the school of rock. So mm. like deep down, we like rock, you know? And mm. so that's how we prefer worship. That's right. But that's there's different right. styles, different people. Yeah. Different Our flavors. senior pastor always um, asks us to have grace because it's not about us. It's not about, mm. I want this and I want that. I mean, I'm actually a little more traditional when it comes to worship. Mm. I like a good hymn every once in a while and I miss singing hymns. Were I really raised, do. Were you raised like that? Yeah, I were mean, I went to a church. Hymn well, church? I mean, I think we all were. I don't hymn? think there was a lot of rock and roll mm -hmm. back in the day in worship. Yeah. And it's come a long way. And I think there's wonderful musicians and wonderful uh, instruments that they use. And I don't have a problem with that. The only thing I do have a problem with is when they're passing out earbuds to put in your ears <laughs> because it's so loud. I went to a church. I'm, I'm yeah, not my church, but I went to a church where they literally really? passed out earplugs so yeah. that because it was so loud. And I'm that's, like, that's too much. I'm wondering yeah. if in I Psalm agree with you 150 on when David worshiped, it said a loud, clanging, simple. I think the Bible is our guide. Yes, yeah. you know, absolutely. Harps, trumpets, mm -hmm. guitars, whatever. But also when I looked at this, Revelation 7 also said there's not just revelry, there's reverence so that the elders bow down before the Lord. So I think there's a mixture of both, but I know raising sons and daughters, you have to be, we have to be careful not to push our own likes on somebody else. Mm -hmm. You know, men might be more masculine and feel they can't worship the David, the more feminine way mm -hmm. to be bouncy and lively, but they're worshiping in their hearts, as Flo said and the, right. the women right. said. Well, I come from um, a background, a Catholic background, and it was very reverent. So when you said reverent, right. and now I am in non-denominational, free-for-all mm -hmm. wildness. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Pastor, this is my pastor. Um, but what I wanted to say is, Last, during this Lenten season, yeah. I was in a beautiful Catholic cathedral. Mm -hmm. And as I made my way to the front of the mm -hmm. altar, and now there's all the statues and all the candles, mm -hmm. I was on my face mm -hmm. in yeah. worship. Yes. And it was this really kind of beautiful, yeah. angelic music. It was mm -hmm. wonderful. So I do miss reverent. Mm -hmm. um, but there's a song that says, it's all about you. I'm That's coming right. back to the, the heart, heart of, of worship. Yes. It's all yeah. about right. you. Right. So wherever you worship, we, we invite you. Invite you in. Diversity, diversity right. is key. Diversity yeah. is right. key. Yeah. That's right. But I have, so this, is, this next question, <laughs> I'm probably going to Zip it. Here's why. No I am a major sports fan, as all of my friends and family know. Mm -hmm. But would you let your child skip church to go to a game or in the Pittsburgh area to a Steeler game or a sleepover? Or is the attendance at church with family crucial to you? 
In my house, it's a non-negotiable, and it always has been that way. They can't sleep over at anyone's they house. Cannot, they cannot miss church on a weekend for sports or for a sleepover. Now, we do have some flexibility. We go to a church that has Saturday night services, so oh we have flexibility, and we actually started going to our church because of that, mm -hmm. because of sports. Mm -hmm. But it was never an option to say, well, you're in football season now. Mm -hmm. We're not going to go to church for eight weeks. That's not happening. Yeah, no. We just, it's non-negotiable. Right. And that's sad for, for fathers whose children play, let's say midget mm -hmm. football. Mm -hmm. What do you do? It's Sundays. Right. Yeah. I, right. You have to go Saturday night. Yeah. yeah. What do you have, well, what do you well, have for me? The Bible says don't forsake the assembling that's right. of yourselves. That's so right. however you assemble, whatever mm -hmm. you call, we are the church, but going to church, yes, it says to fellowship together. Mm -hmm. I know that when my daughter one Saturday said, mom, I have to go to the pirate game. We're in Pittsburgh. I have to go to the pirate game with a friend. I said, you're kidding me. You know, we want you in church. Well, mom, make a wish foundation in the pirates. She was a cancer survivor. I said, oh, okay, you're yeah. going. It's part of, it was just a, Right. You know, one of those things, I think there's times where we have to have flexibility because mm -hmm. that to me was also a form of worship, honoring her friend who had been sick. Right. It's important mm -hmm. too. Right. And she could go Saturday night mm -hmm. to yes. Corey's church. To Corey's church. Yeah. Yes. You, you really pass down your passions to your kids. And just like my parents, I mean, they put God's house as a priority above all things. Mm -hmm. And so Amen. we were there, I mean, almost maybe too much, but I'm glad. I'm thankful. Four days a week. I mean, Wednesday, Sunday morning, Sunday night. Mm -hmm. So then, you know, we pass down those things, passions to our kids. So mm -hmm. they love being in God's house. It's like we're born <laughs> to build church. We're born to build God's house. Oh, and this is why you're so happy. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is like the happy child. And that's how you can be happy. Yes. Yes. The happy child four times Go a week. Go to church all the time. <laughs> I don't know. Happy then you get church. into trouble. I don't know. I think that, there, you know, obviously um, the corporate anointing is key. And yeah. as um, mm -hmm. Rock's already quoted, you know, mm -hmm. forsake not the assembling of ourselves together. Mm -hmm. I also believe, just like Jesus said, that, you know, the Pharisees, you got to watch because you got yeah. can't get legalistic. Right. You right. know, right. when he healed on the Sabbath, the religious folks start coming in. Right. And so, mm -hmm. you know, um, if something comes up and um, I, I definitely think we got to prioritize it. Mm -hmm. Um, I bought my children up and my, I have almost like two sets of children because of their age differences, you know? Yeah, like, so it's like, you go, Flo. Yeah. it's the truth. Yeah. So my first set of children and I'm being very vulnerable because this is real life. And so, um, we bought them up, Corey, and we bought them up with the ironclad, this is what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. This is how, and then what happened is, and I've seen this pattern happen a lot with mm -hmm. that generation mm -hmm. is that our children will not go to church now. Mm -hmm. They are like, they, mm -hmm. it, they put a bad taste in their mouth because we were so legalistic. I mean, you couldn't play mm -hmm. marbles because the Bible said marble not, right? <laughs> Did you get that? Did you get it? Did you get it? So, I mean, <laughs> you, 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 really, <laughs> you, really, you really have to watch and be yes. balanced because there was a time that if my child wanted to do something, Something, I would not have let them. Mm -hmm. Now I see it in a little different perspective, but again, mm -hmm. I'm five children down the road, mm -hmm. you know, and right. so, I, you know, That's wisdom right. comes with that. What about right. you? How right. were you raised? I was raised, um, you're going to church, mm -hmm. it, you know, if you got Not drunk on Saturday, no, it was no option. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. was, um, it, you know, you could be drunk on Saturday, but you're going to church on Sunday. Yeah. You know yeah. I mean? That's, were you, you ever know. drunk on Saturday? <laughs> of course. You were? Uh, of course. Don't you remember you and I together? No. Yeah. Yeah. So, no. <laughs> Not Amy, she's in church four times a week. Four yeah. times a week. We all got saved from something. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's yeah. a topic we need to do sometimes. We will, we will. We will, we will. We will. But I'm going to, I'm going to move on quickly because this is really important. <laughs> Roxanne is on the school board. Not yeah. only are you an attorney, but you are who we hold up for things like this. In the United mm -hmm. Kingdom, the mm -hmm. teachers were told not to use red ink. Mm -hmm. Why? Not to use red ink to correct the children. So take that question. Yeah, I think they were trying to say use two or three positive things versus negative. We don't want to hurt, be sensitive to the child. But I, I'm not sure that that went a little overboard because if you're really thinking about the best, the best <laughs> interests of the child, I want to be prepared and I want my children and my students to be prepared for the real world. Mm -hmm. So red will stand out. I made a mistake. I'm not going to make it again because it was emphasized yeah. in my mind. What's wrong with that? Right. And you want to know when you make mistakes. What's That's what school that? is. Right. It's a learning right. ground learning. for yeah. making mistakes and being 
encouraged when you do something positive. Mm -hmm. So right. I like the fact that they emphasize the positive right. as well. But I want to I want to quickly ask you this question too because it it is about self esteem selfies. Amy alluded to this in the open about the selfies. Wait, the the world <laughs> yeah hello the world is. Take it, take us. Yeah. I did. Yeah. I you did? did? I did. Okay, well, yeah. I wasn't smiling. How's my hair? Okay, okay, just, okay. Yeah, um, the whole easy. world. I got her with her mouth open. Can you well, believe it? Yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> the world is obsessed with themselves. Right. right. With themselves. Right. What do you think? Can I jump to the red ink, back, back to the red oh, ink just sure. for a second? Oh, sure. Only because uh, I think that we need to understand that color psychologically plays a role. Mm -hmm. And red um, can promote aggression. And they did a Ooh. test where even the teachers, they did a, a certain set with the teachers, a certain set with the students. And with the teachers, I'm trying to do this really fast. No, that's with good. The, okay, with the teachers, they found that they were more critical and they found mm. more mistakes. And they gave them like an eighth grade paper to, uh, eighth graders paper to correct. Mm. And so their expectation um, was beyond mm. uh, what that eighth grader should have done. And then with the child, even in their cognitive learning, it kind of leaves it, it psychologically mm. um, can bring them up under a, a banner. And you, you don't want that to happen to mm. a child. So sometimes we got to look just a little Deeper, deeper into things. You do, yes, you do. do. Yeah. But aren't, well, wouldn't, if yeah. you're using a red pen, wouldn't they be judging them each the same way if they're using the red pen? I but mean, it's how I it just, affects the child. Oh, I, you know, I know what yeah. you mean. And, and I do start, believe we did can... Did we all have red okay. pens? Yes, yeah, and then you're going to start banning trophies and banning best friends and banning sports because it makes people feel bad. It's just... they win. It's <laughs> just, I think it's malarkey. It's, uh, maybe it depends on the kid and their yes. sort of personality and their I how their ma their makeup. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, some kids mm -hmm. are really sensitive and are very inward and some like, oh, whatever, yeah. you know, like, mm -hmm. eh, head in the clouds. <laughs> But I don't think any I don't think any human being feels good when you get a mark that it, that makes you feel right. less than. It red yeah. ink can be right. a word. But not it can be an action. But not right. feeling yeah. good yeah. is is a tool to yeah. help you do better. That's true. And sometimes being pressured or having troubles makes you stronger. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. Exactly. If they right. just take selfies, the world would be a well, better place. Well, here's the solution. Selfies. The solution is we moved over to selfies because I wanted Amy to take our picture. Uh, and she did. I did. And I have she a question. did. Is it so wealthy what? or ussy when you do more than one person? Oh, oh honey, it's, it's, it's you oh, all day long. Oh, hey, job. we'll be right back. That's what the sisters are talking about in this segment. You better sit tight and buckle up, baby. We'll be right back on Sister to Sister. <laughs> We are still on last segment's questions. What a fabulous audience we have and fabulous girls of yes. God. Um, we want to touch real quick again on the selfies. We didn't finish it. Yeah. And we always like to bring things from a biblical perspective right. to you. Rox, what do you have? Well, I was thinking about 1 Corinthians 13, and I do have it written down here. Love does not act unbecoming or seek its own. If we're so possessed mm -hmm. with ourselves, mm -hmm. it's hard for us to act relationally outward. Mm -hmm. And then when it becomes, what does the Bible say? You're overcome, you're enslaved to what you're overcome mm -hmm. by. It's true. So when it becomes such a habit that you can't mm -hmm. live without, I think we have to watch ourselves because then we're not, we're loving ourselves more than we're loving our neighbor. That's right. right. Yeah. Right. Oh, the girls yeah. loved it. That's really good. The girls That's loved right. it. But That's we good. do have a good selfie for you for Facebook. Yes. Yeah. I go to our Facebook page. We'll post go to it our there. Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're all taking selfies all through the audience. You should see it. It's really, it's really fun. But selfie, as long as you're not selfish or self-centered. Yes. Yeah. But like, I I'm a picture person. Yes. I like, I see right. things in life in snapshots and pictures and post-it notes. And so I think. And Instagram. Yeah. Follow so Amy on like, Instagram. I don't, suppose, I don't think it's inherently good or bad. It can become right. something that yeah. you worship. Like, right. You yeah. Know? right. Yeah. But you know what? I'm speaking of things that, that are good and bad. Yeah. Did you hear this? story about the father and it I think it was in Pittsburgh no, see we are no. it wasn't in Pittsburgh no Pittsburgh dad would never do that 
I know him, Pittsburgh Dad. It was on Pittsburgh um, TV. It was on Pittsburgh, right. Mm -hmm. And the father was so angry at his daughter for not cleaning up the room that he took all of her materials, everything, bed, dressers, everything, put it in the driveway. So when she came home, I just said, oh boy, it's cleaned up. You know, just, <laughs> just take what you want and put it back. But what do you think about a public display like that? The father making a public display of his daughter's messiness. I think I might actually do this <laughs> <laughs> when I get home because I literally every day am having this ongoing battle with the rooms and the cleaning mm -hmm. and I don't know I just think I think the public display is so much better than a public display of screaming at a child or oh, good point. you know belittling them or uh, you know being abusive in your language I think this was like a mm -hmm. wake-up call I'm all for it go dad Oh, I think wow. he, 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 he was a military dad, and, and later on he kind of thought, well, you know, maybe I should have did, did it that way. <laughs> but but um, I'm kind of with, with Corey. I, I've done some things to make my point with my children that I'm not going to tell you on television. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> tell us. Tell us. Uh, yeah. Oh, it definitely later. worked. I want to know yeah. if it does it work. One day, one day I'll let you interview my children. They'll tell you how much it worked. But, um, <laughs> but, I, <laughs> but no, I, I, I think the punishment needs to fit the crime. Yes. And I don't know where we got into this. You know, if my children act up in public, they get corrected in public. You may feel differently, oh, but I, you know. That's really well, good. In the grocery store, you know, yes. are two as different a, things. As though. a person with adult children, once they start buying their own things, they'll take care of them. So this too shall mm -hmm. pass. That's I know true. the Bible That's says so a train point. a child up in the way they should go. You should be training them not to be messy. But once they start buying their own things, they clean it up really well. That's so true. there is hope for That's it. That's true. true. Yeah, except and I'm still when messy. The, um, Have them buy their stuff. That's true. <laughs> buy, buy your own stuff. Yeah. Um, I, I want to ask you about this because this has happened with me. Uh, when a friend would start to complain about Ooh. their husband, about their spouse, oh, and really venting. Mm -hmm. And the audience is all shaking their head, oh boy. Do you listen? Oh. What do you do when a friend starts doing that about their spouse? I am impassioned about this. Okay. I think that's a subterfuge for gossip. What? It's a subterfuge. 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 It, it, it hides gossip. I, I don't think you should be venting. When you work out things with your spouse, I think that should be private. Would you want your spouse talking about you to another man? Well, men they... don't do that. I oh, don't yes, think. they do. do you? I work... yeah. Yeah, yes. We'd have to ask the camera guys, do you? <laughs> no, I'm hearing it's no. Not called, it's not called venting. That's the difference. Listen, ah. Roxanne, I have a different view, honestly. Ahead, I... I have really some really awesome godly friends and some of them are here right now. And my, I tell my husband this all the time, he should be thanking them because they, they put me in my place. They say, oh, well, you need to, they say, you need to apologize. You need to humble yourself. You need to go work things out. They give me the yeah. good advice. They're laughing so, in and the I kind of disagree you guys with you a little that, bit. Okay? Because I think it's dishonoring to yeah. talk negative about your spouse to another person unless you're talking up to yes. a counselor, yeah. to a person that can help you. You know, I just, with a, and like a close friend, I don't think that that is their business. I think honest confession is good for the soul. Yeah. And I think there's safety in a multitude of counselors. Mm -hmm. And let's just be real. There's some things that you're going through, you don't even know how to articulate it to your spouse because you're I growing. Agree. I've been mm -hmm. with my husband 30 yeah. years yeah. and I'm certainly our relationship is different than it was 30 mm -hmm. years ago. Right. Um, and, I, and I do like the principle that you shared that mm -hmm. you try to share up, right. you know, mm -hmm. um, and you need to watch the contents mm -hmm. of how you share it and all right. of that. I think that's important. Mm -hmm. I like but that. it's mm -hmm. it's imperative that you, you have, have to talk a, a opening to share, to yeah. share so that somebody can speak into your to, life. Right. You're not designed to fix everything right. by yourself. But, I'll, I'll yeah. go godly with sharing, friends, but not venting. Well, right, yeah. but I'll godly go friends, sharing, but not venting. godly friends are the key there. It is. That's the key. The key. But right. you yeah. know what? I have godly friends, but I also have 1,700 Facebook friends. If you're watching, I don't know who you all are. And I say yes because I don't want you to feel bad. That's happening. It's the truth. So what is going on with this friend stuff? What do you think? Is this giving us a false sense of friendship? Yes, or does it strengthen absolutely. the bonds? No. I think it well, does. Sometimes it well, does. Well, I don't accept any Joe 
Sally off the road as a Facebook friend. <laughs> well, do they know that you don't like them or say yes? No, they don't know. Well, mm. sure, if, if I say, Corey, be my friend, and then You're never her days friend. go by and you don't say yes. If I don't know you, why would you want to be my friend? They saw you on <laughs> Sister to Sister, I don't know. <laughs> Just like us S to S, Sister to Sister on Facebook. You can get all this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so I think that, that this, along with the selfies, promotes imagery instead of intimacy. Yeah, and I think good. that, you know, friendship is relationship. With some terms we kind of butcher, you know, because we, the way we use it. And a friend to me, like the Bible says, faithful are the wounds of a friend. Mm -hmm. And a friend can speak to me what an acquaintance can't. Mm -hmm. And there's a difference. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes we have taken acquaintances right. and said, You're, this is my friend. Mm -hmm. you but know? it is right. a great way though. Like, yeah, I just, mean, you, you, it, it's when you can't connect all the time yeah. and you're busy. We, I know what's going on in Corey's life. Or I know what's going on in people. some of our young, right. and you, yeah. oh, I like his picture. Oh, yeah. I like, you well, know, I like what they're doing. The scripture it. does say better is it, a friend close by than yeah. a brother far off. And mm -hmm. I think if you mm -hmm. could keep that mm -hmm. closeness and mm -hmm. that sharing, yes. as Flo said, mm -hmm. without the superficialness. But when you go on Facebook, you are putting on there what you want people to see. That's and right. since Sometimes you don't have Facebook, then what am I going to say? on there it's like what are they thinking right, because right. I want to be different if right. I got but it. you know what you I need you to be my friend on Facebook too but I, and yeah, I need you to be my friend too she's not she's I know not to talk about Facebook. these are not social media I don't no. vent I don't stop talk. you're so perfect <laughs> Yeah. Mom, I'm asking your mother. Mom, no. is she perfect? No, I'm just kidding. But you know what I want to, I, I do want to ask you. No you have such an amazing way of bringing scripture into everything that we talk about. And so do you, Flo. Go, yeah. Flo. Do we have a favorite scripture? Quickly, oh. give me your favorite scriptures, girls. Good that job. means the most to you. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens oh. me. Amy, that was going to be so happy. Oh. That's why she's so happy she could do all things. That was going to be mine. <laughs> we, we must. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you have, Corey? Um, mine's Romans 8, 26. Um, in the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. Mm -hmm. We don't even know what we ought to pray for. The Holy Spirit is intervening on our behalf mm -hmm. in groans with that words can't be understood. The first time I read that verse, I cried. Mm -hmm. It's so powerful. The Holy Spirit 24 seven mm -hmm. is interceding on our behalf wow. with the Father. When I have no idea what to pray for and I know there are people out there. You don't yes. know yeah, what's wrong. You don't right. know what to pray yes. for. Right. The Spirit is interceding right. for you. I like it. Go, go. when go. you pray Ecclesian, Ecclesiastes 3.11, he makes everything beautiful in its time. I it like gives us hope. Too. So when we yeah. pray, yeah. we have hope. I like that. He know, we know he's gonna make it beautiful. I like that. Flo. I don't really have one. It depends on what, what? I'm going through. It's the truth. The it depends Bible. on what I'm what I'm going through and what scripture is applying that to you know applicable to me at that time. But I can't honestly say that I have a favorite one. Well, we all have scriptures that we love, and you know what? The scriptures that we love can help you too. I need you to call that number that's on the screen or find us at CTVN. We have a saying here, and this is a scripture I really love, and it, and it pauses me because it's so true. And it goes like this, as iron sharpens iron, so does the countenance of a man or a sister mm -hmm. sharpen the other. Do you understand that these girls have made me mm -hmm. a better Kathy? <laughs> We're sister to sister. We're so happy you're with us. Tune in next time. goodness that was an amazing show yes. that was we're so glad you are with us for sister to sister and my sister and my pastor Amy has another scripture I think. one of my life core verses is Psalms 92 13 that those planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God I love it that God didn't just leave us alone and say here figure it all out but he actually plants us in a house where we grow relationships we grow in the word we can grow as wonderful women of God get planted and flourish today mm -hmm. my sister is right. watching right right <laughs> and what I say to you all the time is this thing we end with which is as iron sharpens iron look it up mm -hmm. look it up it's fabulous scripture for you. That means the countenance of a man strengthens the other. We want you to connect with us and send us an email s2s at ctvn.org and tune in every Wednesday for Sister to Sister because we love sharing our lives with you.